Uh, this TBS Crossfire is configured uh, for dynamic on dynamic power. So now you can see it's just on 10 milliwatts. But as the plane goes uh, farther from the transmitter, that automatically adjusts. I'm doing this uh, configuration so that I could uh, save battery on my transmitter. If I lock this at 500 uh, milliwatts, which is the maximum for a uh, onboard or uh, not running on a separate LiPo, uh, I noticed that uh, it uh, drains the battery quite uh, fast. This part of the flight if you notice the this is my uh, I magnified the RSI value if you notice it keeps on bouncing uh, from 30 something to 40 the reason why that is happening is because I was looking I was turning my transmitter so that I would see uh, what uh, how much power the TBS crossfire is on so at this part of the flight I can remember I, I, I wasn't able to uh, take a video of it but it's jumping from 25 to 100 milliwatts at 5 point something kilometers out so for me that is that is amazing for this uh, for this transmitter because you, you don't really need that much uh, power if you're closer maybe you could receive that power if you're farther uh, I remember uh, using other UHF systems uh, they basically are locked on high and low 200 milliwatts or 500 milliwatts so you know it, it drains the battery even though you're just flying within close proximity uh, I'll, I'll conduct more tests I will also try to use the uh, high sensitive uh, antennas that TBS uh, sells and see if I could actually make a uh, comparative analysis between the stock antennas and uh, the high gain antennas so uh, at this point uh, I'm, I'm pretty amazed on the performance uh, using stock antennas and dynamic power at this far uh, you are good with just uh, basically you know between 25 and 100 milliwatts of power um, to keep the, the signal uh, usable